How's it going, Angela? Welcome to the stream, and I don't see any of the ugly flowers here. So I'm assuming that it actually is going to be like a cutscene that will auto-get them for me, not something I actually have to seek out myself. Oh, fuck you. Ugh. They can run faster than me. Lesson learned. It was treasures. Bottles. Oh god, that's a bad encounter right there. Wait, this thing is a red? A fire. Oh, all right. I need to go. If I wanted to do that, I need to go find a switch that let me turn it into red in the area, and then I'd have to come back here. Gotcha, game. Gotcha. All right. You got to get out of a really short time, but thanks for stopping by while you could, man. I guess this one's red as well. Huh. Technically, there's something in front right here, so what is this? I just ran over an item, but meh. I'm at a medical stage, and I'm really busy. Moving for a while, so maybe not see you soon. All right, man. Well, see you when you can. Well, I'm back here again, I think. And I don't see a single switch around here anywhere, but I found a chest. lap is something else and oh oh boy not unfavorable all that matters He's never gonna touch the ground what? again. That about does it. All right, so we're turning that into blue, but now I can't get out of this. So it would have to be red in order for me to be able to find a way out. And I can't go back here. So this is a big fuck you. I can't use that one apparently. Oh, great. I 
already went that way into the lamp, so maybe... Well, no, actually, I just came from the other way, so I can't do that. Is, am I missing something? I feel like I managed to stare me in the face. Because obviously right here, I can't do this. Of the really inferable fight. But I can't do this one because there's gonna be a barrier there. A red one specifically. And there are no switches here. So how am I supposed to hmm. Could not go anyways as well, so I have to go here. I have to do an entire lap around. Then I guess I have to go to a previous area to flip the switch and come back. Maybe. Oh wait, no, I don't. Oh shit. And now with that, the previous area should have it unlocked. I guess I just missed that, obviously, right there in the open. Gotta make me look stupid now. But now I get to fight a boss. Woo! We fight a... Whatever that is. Actually, no, you're not a boss. At least you don't have the big thing. You don't have, like, the miasma glow around you, so... Shouldn't be it. Are we ready for this? Oh my god, this is a tanky fucking thing. Probably can go this thing, but holy shit, it's gonna take a while. Ow, ow fucking, oh god. Thank you for the heal. That was incredibly terrifying. Can you. Ow! Oh god! Shit! Alright. Now you, life bot on me, please. Oh god damn it again! Help me. Oh god. That takes... That is not long to kill me immediately. I'm coming back. You can't keep me down. Oh, 
Oh boy. Get her back up. She's the key point in our barrage assault. Oh boy. And that's happening again. Okay, I need to not. And then again. Life bottle on you. Oh god, ah! Very. Me. Good amount of actually. That means we lost our healer though. Get him in here. Oh god, oh god, ah! I can't die here. You there, help me. Got it. I refuse to fall here. All skill. Not even breaking a sweat. Yeah, not not a problem at all. Yeah, that wasn't like a fucking terrifying boss fight that I shouldn't have been able to beat. Not at all. I probably should. Do that, just in case. did the switch over here should also be changed as well and <gasps> there's a cat and we got drop earrings left So does that just... No, those are actually some nice clear glasses. But the earring... Oh, it's just a little earring on your left. Yeah, that's like classy looking, yeah. We gotta differentiate Velvet from her, so... Let's say the square glasses is now a frameless glasses. Look just that much more classy. And to keep up the image of her being evil, you can take away her glasses and give her 
The earring. Only wearing an earring on one side. Clearly evil. Hey, exorcist. Hello, people. You there! What do you think you're doing here? We could ask the same of you. Kill him! Is something going on back there? They didn't look like they were demon hunting. Ah. Are you making that move? No, it just did it by itself. He's in sync with his compass, just like Aizen and his coin. Aizen, you're an Earth Moloch, right? Do you sense anything around here? No, I don't. It seems Lafayette's senses are sharper than mine. It stopped, but something still feels wrong. Like what? It kind of feels like when we got sealed inside that Earth Pulse. So a force similar to Inominat's power? I'm starting to think this may be no ordinary demon we're dealing with here. Probably not, so let's keep on going. Are you dead? Ugh, nope. Nah, nope. We did not kill the exorcist. Order still being followed. Happy day. And a blue. Oh, God. I'm gonna follow the wall right here and not get fucked. I hope. Oh, God, that's dangerous. Chest over here. Sandra Sash. A belt of I mean, Scarlet Rose enhances fire lentil attacks. And. Ah, oh, son of a bitch, fine. You gotta do the lap again. Fight me! Here I come! I'll weigh them down. Ignore me! So much death and destruction. Eh. Alright, we're good. But the exorcists were not actually looking like they were hunting actively. It looks like they were standing guard. And now it has me wondering, were they guarding something like they were in one of the quests we were doing before where we had to where they were guarding like a secret? People making drugs for the drug lord pope. I don't know why I double saved, but still. Star of plot progression, there you are, you glorious like you. a dead end up ahead. Luffy said, do you feel anything here? No, not right now. Ugly flowers. Yep, Salatoma. 
Is the demon the real reason the Abbey's closed off the forest? Worry about it later. It's flower picking time. Agreed. What do you think, kiddo? I told you these things were hard on the eyes. I mean, who puts those colors together? Yeah, they're really nasty looking. But if they help the others, that's good enough for me. Ah! What was that? that? Oh boy. This must be the demon we were warned about. Are you all right? I'm okay. So much for this demon being hard to find. Is this the Reaper's curse yet again? We're just getting started. What? Another barrier! That barrier... Even my greater hearts can't break that. What's going on here? Why go to such lengths to keep this demon alive? Either way, I don't think we're hauling how many flowers unless we beat up Mr. Bugglesworth here. Right! Everyone, let's do this! Make Find the beat on Kepler. This is so cool! I want to be a bug! What? Stop fantasizing and help us get rid of it! Oh boy, uh -oh. Oh god. It has a lot of defense. God, it parried me. Oh boy, it's on me. Oh, it's hide away at me. a bug. Phew! In 
insect collecting is a sweatier hobby than I thought. Look! Can we keep him? <laughs> no. Hand it over. I'll dispose of it. Abby had some reason for protecting it. Maybe we should keep it alive for observation. <sighs> you want it, you feed it. Take care of him. He has a pet now. Anyway, now that we've got these flowers, Eleanor and my crew ought to be out of danger. Hey! Forgetting somebody? It looks like we've closed the door on this little episode. That insect demon was a bit of a surprise, but I still think this curse business is overblown. <sighs> I can count on one hand how many have survived more than three years at my side. If you're not careful, you might wind up as corpse number 50. 50? That's how many comrades I've lost. Oh, I... I'm sorry. Just saying, don't let your guard down. Right. Now that we've got what we need, we should get back to the ship. Expedition is back as well. Hmm. I wonder what they call this kind of bug. You're way into that thing, aren't you? He's now a bug collector. Take a look at this. Ah. Oh. Great. Let's do this one run get you style, guys. Wow. They found a whole bunch. New area. No, we're going to the new world here. We got all the specials and we got the new area. Don't have all the materials, but who needs that? Scout ship setting sail. To map the world. The map's getting filled in little by little. There's still a long way to go. It's a big world out there. Yeah, that's true. And a lot can happen on the waves. The far seas are unexplored territory for a reason. I'd imagine so. The seasons and the weather can change the sea completely. Oh. Do I sense a budding interest in the sea? Think you're feeling less apathetic about it now? I wouldn't say that. I was just reminded of something someone once said to me. <sighs> Alright. Let's try and find a way to get back to the docks then. I'm tempted if I should actually... Or I'm not sure if I should actually use a... I don't think they have to warp back or no, because I'm not sure if I need to or if like there'll be a cutscene. Actually, never mind, I don't have to. Happy said, can I ask you a bit of an awkward question? What kind of demon would you say Velvet is? Uh, well... Oh, don't worry. I'm not trying to find a vulnerability or anything. I'm only asking out of You're curiosity. It it's not that I doubt you, Eleanor. I just don't know much about her myself. You fought against her, haven't you? She consumes her enemies with her left hand and claims their power. She's a demon like absolutely no other. Plunk just about any demon down in front of her, and I bet she could devour it in a single gulp. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty much true. Sometimes demons that she doesn't entirely devour turn human again, but... What? You've seen demons turn back into humans? Is it that big of a deal? Of course it is! Everyone knows that once you catch Demon Blight, that's it. There's no turning back. Although, I did see it happen with the High Priest Gideon. I wonder if there's some kind of connection. Not that it matters if he turned back, Demon or not, he's dead either way. Whatever it is, it's of no concern to a pirate. If I were you, I wouldn't worry about what's normal. If things were normal, we wouldn't have found each other. 
You have a point. Sorry I couldn't help, Eleanor. No, you didn't do anything wrong. But I need to keep digging until I find out more about the kind of demon Velvet is. So there is an ulterior motive. You're a shitty spy. Alright, oh god. Let's get out of here. That bug! It looks pretty tough. Yeah! I've been around a long time, but I've never seen anything like it! It must be a new species. Incredible! A new species is usually named after the person who discovered it. The Lafayette rhinoceros beetle, then? Rhinoceros beetle? Whoa, no. That's a stag beetle if I ever saw one. No. Those things may look like pincers, but they're actually horns. A three-horned beetle will cause quite a stir in the bug community. Hey, I know pincers when I see them, and those were some mighty pincers. The Lafayette stag beetle has a better ring to it, right? What part of that sounds better? The whole thing. Stag beetles are the strongest, after all. I can't let that go unchallenged. <laughs> the rhinoceros is the king of beetledom. Beetledom? More like beetle dumb. Huh? That doesn't help your case at all. Rokuro. Aizen. I... I feel a dangerous storm brewing. The rhino is a one-trick pony with its horn, but a stag can cut its opponents in half. Its weapons can be used in any situation. The stag is a true swordsman. That's petty trickery. The only beetle with the raw muscle to decide its own fate is the rhino. But they only live for a year. The stag can survive through the winter. They live hard and die young. Is the beauty of such a life lost on you? <laughs> Why is it that boys get so excited when they talk about bugs? Minocerus, stag, or butterfly. It's all no matter to me. They all look like cockroaches. They're totally different! So, what will you name it? Um, I think Rhino Stagros uh. for now. God damn it, don't compromise, pick a side. <laughs> oh, wait. Ignore me. Yeah, this way should be open now. Wait, that's just a... I haven't gone this way, so let's see what it is. Who knows what's back here? Son of a bitch, I know what's back here. It's fucking nothing. I don't like some secret area, but nope. Just, nah. Run the lap again, Lafayette. Look at those curious. Toma flowers smell so sweet, like raspberries. Let me smell. <laughs> oh, they smell tasty. Do they really taste that bad? They lure you in with their scent, but once that flower hits your tongue, its flavor transforms into something dreadful. Dreadful, dreadful like, like how? how? The petals melt into a liquid thousands of times stronger than mint, and the leaves and stem taste richer than the richest beef tongue. The two flavors clash and fizz on your tongue, and your whole body is racked with choking pain. What? Seriously? That's what Ifri told me anyway. It's actually true. That's exactly what it's like. You've tasted it before, haven't you? Is there any way around it? You can squeeze it, boil it, mix it with honey, but nothing gets rid of the taste. 
Trying to mix it or sweeten it makes it even harder for some to swallow. Have you taken yours? No, I'll do it once I'm back on the ship with the pirates. <laughs> Wait, are you the type that puts off unpleasant tasks? Not at all. I simply cannot be the first to drink it when others are still waiting for us to deliver their doses. You do know that you'll have to drink double the dose after you start displaying the symptoms, right? Are you certain? <laughs> Quit being so stubborn. <laughs> It'd be better if you just got it over with. And you've taken your dose? No, I don't need to. Having a tethered Moloch drink it is enough to absorb its effects. But to a Moloch, it tastes... Yes, the cuter you are, the worse it tastes. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be an exorcist, eh, Eleanor? Do I have to drink it? No. Uh, of course not. I'll suffer through my own dose of Solitoma. Oh, poo. How dull. Whew. Don't you dare make Lavi said drink that. We must defend. We must protect him. I'll fight you, though. Now we get out of here. More cutscenes? That would be nice. Just more stuff for the story and to really. Oh shit. You think there's any chance that Wanted Moloch would launch an attack here? His target's probably Loringen, but stay sharp just in case. He might try to break open the bug cage as a diversion. Wanted Moloch? Loringen? Hmm. First that demon wrecks Helavis, and then Eleanor betrays us? We're never gonna catch a break. Quit whining. Cleaning up messes is our job. <sighs> Looks like our Abbey buddies are up to something. And the bug cage. That barrier, I assume? If so, it won't be long before they find out we broke in. Then we should make our exit while we can. Time to sneakily get out of here. Like a ninja. That is true, pinching your nose might help, but I know some people who said that it doesn't help at all. It's just, it's still gonna taste terribly if it, if you drink it. Let's save up. And get on out of here. Flower tastes like mint. The stem, stem tastes like tongue. Yes, I'm with you. Anyone to separate? Probably no. It probably needs to all be consumed. And that's where you suffer. Hey, how goes it? Zavid! Easy there, bro. I don't got time to spar today. Got a date lined up. That artifact you've got belongs to Eifried. Why do you have it? Just picked it up off the ground somewhere. 
Don't screw with me, tough guy. I have ways of making you talk. Ha! <laughs> I wonder how much pain gets you to open up. You're the one about to be tested. It's not up to you how this goes. If I want to talk, we'll talk. And if I want to fight, we'll fight. What are you... It was a buff gun. I'd play more, but I don't want to keep old pointy beard waiting. We'll chat some more later, with our fists. Wait! Aizen! We need to get the flowers to everyone on the ship! You can handle it! But you're... <sighs> Let's head back, Luffy said. All right. Oh god! I'm on a save point! I guess I need to do this now or else it's gonna fuck me over later. Oh boy, now. I I say I want to say no, but after that display, I'm not entirely sure. That thing Zavid was holding, what do you think that was? From the sound of it, it seemed to belong to Ifrit. Buff gun. I've never seen any object or art quite like it. Maybe it's that relic Ifrit brought back from a continent across the sea. An art from another continent. Do you think Aizen will be all right? That Moloch seemed to know what he was doing. I'd rather we just stayed out of his way, but... First the throne, and now here. What is Zavid after, anyway? He was probably just making up that date business. But still, old pointy beard? Just like Eifried. When I was talking with Benwick, he said Eifried had a pointy beard. You don't say. Then I bet Zavid is that wanted Moloch the Abbey's looking for. Yeah. He must be aware they're after him. And then he baited Aizen into following him, using something that belonged to Eifried. And I'm pretty sure Aizen knew that, but he went after him all the same. Ugh, this can only go well, I'm sure. Is Aizen in trouble? It doesn't matter either way, if his Corsair scourge goes untreated. For now, let's get back to the ship. All right, let's get out of here. Actually, let me see if I could go into the inn and like, rest. Maybe there's gonna be a little event, like a little skip going on. Actually, no other event. Damn it. No, I will, just because it's a heal. Probably didn't even need it. But, we can. Everyone on the ship, we're here to... What is this? A frog? Look! A frog! It's unusual to see one this close to the sea. Hey, I thought of a poem! Day at Port Renied. A frog jumps into the void. The sound of the sea. Mogilu? What was that? Just a little poem that popped into my head. My inspiration came from pondering the terror a frog would feel if it unwittingly leapt into the salty ocean. That... That's... I don't get it at all. I got another one! 
skinny little frog. Moggy Lou is on your side. Do not give up hope. Um, I guess that one is about rooting for a frog. That's right. I once bet a fortune on a game of chance involving frogs. That was my inspiration for this one. What do you think? Poetic, isn't it? I think you have a gambling problem. So, did this skinny frog win? Nope. I lost my entire bet. I think we can call that poetic justice. Of course. Star plot progression, though, is just ahead. Let's see if the Persona user will stop by here as well. We got the drugs! We brought back your Salatomas. Drink up. You've saved us! But where's the first mate? We bumped into some wannabe tough guy Moloch and he just took off after him. What? That must have been Zavid! Why didn't you guys follow him? And leave you all with the Corsair Scourge? Yes! Aizen's the one in danger here. Is it because the Abbey is after Zavid? So you even knew about it? I heard the details from a merchant who deals with the Abbey. Some big shot exorcist named Melchior has set up a trap for Zavid and Loringen. If Aizen gets caught up in that, he might not make it out alive. So now there's Melchior to worry about. Why is Lord Melchior assuming direct command to capture Zavid? Wait, that's not important. What matters is I can turn Lafayette head over to him and finally return to the Abbey. Melchior is a legate. A powerful enemy, trap or no. Ugh, you guys are useless. Well, fine. If you're not going to go help him, we will. What makes you think you're capable of being any help? Would you let an ally get slaughtered just because you were scared? What? We want to save him. Maybe we'll lose. It still won't stop us. We are the ones who decide our fates. Only us. That's just the creed of Eifried's pirates. You're a real hothead, you know that? Nobody said anything about not helping Aizen. Huh? You all stay here, take your medicine like good little boys, and be ready to welcome back your first mate and captain. The captain? Why else would Aizen knowingly barge into a trap, if not to save Eifried? Oh, <laughs> of course! Leave the ship and crew to me. Here, this one's for you. Those pirates haven't a lick of sense in them. They don't let reason dictate who they protect. <sighs> if you say so, demon. Eat it. <laughs> Did you pour the seeds out or something? Now. About where Aizen's headed. Those exorcists were talking about some place called Loringen. Yes. It's a tower in the northern part of Westgand where the exorcists train. Lines up with what Benwick told us. That must be the place. There must be a lot of exorcists. Hang in there, Aizen. That'll take more than basic exorcists to do him in. We ought to pity any poor exorcists who meet the Reaper. Right. Let's work together and find him. I mean, we can, yeah, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a trap. It's always a trap. And our A-list spy is going to be the one to make us to ruin everything, I bet. Part of me, though, wants to actually believe that um, uh, she will eventually be like, Oh, the Abbey is evil. Or the Abbey is not doing all that as much good as, my, as everyone thinks. But the Army does really want to say that. No, nope. she will be a blind faith person that will follow them to the end of the earth because that is what she was raised or taught to, to know. And that's kind of it. Part of me actually wants, is wondering if people or if some people here would actually have seen the beginning of the story and said, oh, no, that was still for the greater good. Because I'm actually not sure what the end game goal is. And like finding monster demons like in cages and certain places is confusing but i'm not sure what they actually are supposed to be like leading into huh but 
But that, I'm going to be ending the stream here, guys. Cutting it, actually, not even exactly cutting it that much short. 20 minutes before my regular ending time, but that's just because I have something I got to do here. I got to do some laundry because yesterday was a bitch and a half for work. And because I got to get some stuff done prepping for food. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. We had a great time. See you guys Friday for continuing off on Tale of the Basteria. I'm still kind of, this is my first Tale of game because Asteria, all I remember is Edna. That is all I remember. And that's all I think a couple people that I talked to about the game remember. Either that and them saying that it was not great and that this one redeemed it. But I'm sort of going off of it so far right now. And it's, so far it's actually all right. Revenge. Like purity protection. Blind faith. I'm actually not sure. And Bushido apparently. The other guy I don't know. But meh. Thanks for watching. Stay awesome. And hopefully... You'll let me turn you one more time, another time. Bye.